reaction. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa, and if you subscribe, when we get to a thousand subscribers, I'll be going skydiving for you guys. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something I came across recently that I think is absolutely hilarious. There's this guy out there, I think his name is uh, Shane Plays or something like that, and he makes like these um, Roblox animations or videos like that, like stories. Um, and uh, I've noticed that they all have like a similar theme, um, but also some of the stories in them are just so dramatic and ridiculous. So today I'm going to be showing you guys those and reacting to the videos that I haven't seen. And so this is Shane Plays too. Uh, I'm sorting all his videos by the most popular and we're going to be watching some of his most popular videos to give you guys kind of an idea of like what kind of content he makes. Hey, yo, stop right there. Yeah, you're never gonna catch me, Kappa. Yeah, well, I will. Huh, ow, what the heck, dude? He dropped this dollar. Hey, you can keep it. Looks like you need it more than he does. Whoa, a whole dollar. You know, this is a sign. I'm gonna use this dollar, turn my whole life around. Whoa, a whole dollar. Wouldn't he find a dollar ordinarily? Like, I don't know, you guys see like dollars on the street or at least he could have picked up some quarters or pennies and like already had a dollar. So the idea that this is his first ever dollar, he's like, I'm gonna use this one dollar to change my life. And it's like such a weird circumstance too. Like he caught a robber and now he's like, he has a dollar? I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. Danny, Danny. Oh, David, what's going on? Why are you so happy? I wanna show you this. Look! I want to show you this! You've never seen this before, it's a dollar! Too bad it's mine and not yours. This is our chance. Our chance for what? We've been homeless our entire lives. Homeless their entire lives? So they were born and raised homeless? Oh man, what's wrong with that guy? I drop you once and suddenly you don't want to work anymore. I bet you they're going to take the phone and be like, Look! Now we can sell this. Either that or they're gonna try and buy it off of him for the one dollar. Well, if you're just gonna throw it away, uh, I'll take it. Oh yeah, well, what's in it for me, huh? I'll buy it off of you. I told you, I told you, this is brilliant. Ah, sweet, yeah, here you go, man. I'll take that. Sweet, yeah, yeah, I'll take a dollar for a whole cell phone. Are you sure that was the right thing to do, David? But he paid for it, he paid for it. Besides, remember, he could just get another dollar and that'll be the start of a whole nother life. This is our chance. We have another dollar and a broken cell phone. <laughs> I think I can fix it. Whoa, right. whoa, 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 wait a minute. So they've been homeless their whole lives. They have no marketable skills whatsoever, no experience. He's like, but I can fix it. What would you know about a damn cell phone? If, obviously, I'm assuming he's never had one because he's broken homeless. Just this one last thing and that's it. I think I fixed it. Yeah, this thing almost works like it's brand new. Now let's see if I could sell it. Boop, 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 boop. I fixed it, oh my God. This guy's a genius. So I don't understand why he's still homeless if he just naturally understands cell phones. Sold that phone for 50 bucks, dude. 50 whole dollars? How are these two still alive? Like what do they eat? We'll figure it out. Just eat some dinner, okay? How can I eat? That dinner alone. I guarantee cost them the entire $50. So this journey's over, that's it, end of video. Bye bye. Now come on, this has to be some of the best food I've ever tasted Pizza in my life. This is the best yeah. food ever, I you know, this is really good, you're right. Wow, you know Danny, I think that's the first time in months I've actually seen you smile. He has a smile plastered to his face. What are you talking about, it's painted on there. He's always smiling, maybe he means smiling on the inside. Oh, hey, you're the guy that sold me that phone, right? Uh, yeah, that's me. Dude, that phone worked better than a brand new one. I'm a huge Whoa. tech guy, and you definitely know your oh stuff, all right? You're a tech guy? Of course. I cannot express how much fun I'm having watching these. Why don't you uh come work with us, man? Are you offering me a job right now? Yeah, I am. That's what I just said. Uh, you want to take the deal or what? Oh, 100%. I'd love the job. I'd love the job. I'd love it. Ah! Yeah, I need someone to fix my phone. All right, well, let me take a look at it. Well, it looks like you live on the streets. I'm not having you fix my phone. You're gonna steal it. Sir, I promise you, I'm not gonna steal your phone. I actually work here. Yeah, well, I'm actually grossed out right now. I would never let some gross poor person touch my phone. I would never let some gross poor person touch my phone. How does he know? Look, he's like cleaned up. He's got like a nice button down shirt and a tie, which... 
I'm sure cost him the rest of his $50 if he didn't already waste it on all that pizza. The only thing about him that maybe looks poor and homeless is his hair. Like if he would fix that style, maybe customers would trust him? I mean, it just takes a comb, my dude. Hey dude, what, what was that all about? You lost a customer. What was that all about? You just watched the entire thing happen. Oh my God. Oh, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Here's your first paycheck. A paycheck? No, no way. Yes way, uh, it's $500. He's been working at the store for less than five minutes. He already gets $500. What does he make per hour? Cause it seems like he's making 500 every two minutes. Sign me up for this job. Don't judge me, all right? Hey, hey man, no judgment, okay? I'm just glad I could help. Yeah, 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 where is he, uh? Where's the thief? Uh -huh. And here he is. He's the one that stole my phone. He sold it for more money. David, you're a criminal? Uh, no, I'm not. Huh, sounds like what a criminal would say. Exactly. It also sounds like what an innocent person would say. You're firing me? Yeah, I just did like two seconds ago. Now get out of here before I call the cops. That's not his boss. His boss is the one with the blonde hair. Okay, whatever. Well, that's why I'm here, David. I think that you have the right skills necessary. And I think if we combine our brain power, we can make our own business. All right, well, just give me the bad news. Get that over with. Well, I kind of got fired at my job. Wait, what? And there's good news to follow? How? Well, this is going to give me an opportunity to start my own business. I'm going to start working with Jeff. Whoa, really? Starting a business from nothing? That's insane. Starting a business from nothing? You mean how all other businesses are made? That sounds kind of insane. The house isn't much, and it's been on the market for about like two weeks now. No one's I buying like the slick it. I'll take it. it. Nice. Oh, you got yourself a deal. Congratulations, you're now a homeowner. Wow. Welcome to Str He paid for his house in cash. I cannot wait to see the look on Danny's face when he sees this. Oh, hold on a second. What's this? Phone call from the hospital? Uh, hello? I swear to God, if his brother got run over by that crazy dude who sold his phone to him in the beginning. I'm gonna lose my mind. What? Danny's in the hospital? Well, I'm gonna warn you, it's gonna cost a lot of money. A lot of money? How much are we talking here? Well, it's probably gonna be thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. I don't know, I'm a doctor. What great bedside manner? I don't know, I don't know, I'm a doctor. I don't know the money, money stuffs. I don't want you to waste all your money on me. So you'd rather Ooh. die just so his brother keeps his money? I guess they're that desperate, huh? I just hope he pulls through soon. Ha, oh, man. I'm sorry, David. I don't know what else to say, really. No, what do you say in this situation? Holy crap. The shading on those arms make them look jacked right now. Like, on top of the cell phone business, did they also start a gym that they only have memberships to? Maybe we should just give up the office. It'll help us save a lot more money for Danny's surgery. You know, I think I actually have to agree with you. I don't like this idea at all. How are we gonna keep the business going without an office? They're saying they need a different place. I mean, he just bought a house. They could also have the business like be run out of his house for the time being. Maybe we can like run it out of your garage or something. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. We can go door to door. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> I predicted it. <laughs> It's about $5,000, but I'm working on my way to get more money. And I'll get all of it, I promise. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a good place to start. Must be difficult, you know, being poor. Must be difficult, you know, being poor. I wouldn't know anything about it. So I'm surprised this doctor hasn't also experienced that, especially going through school and, and all the student loans and all the money it takes to become a doctor. My camera died, and so I went to the gas station and bought myself coffee while I was waiting for it to charge. But we're back! And we'll continue watching this video while I eat some cookies. Nom, nom, nom. I got you this. Keep it quiet, okay? I'm sure the doctor won't really like it if you're having a burger. Hey, take it easy, man, all right? Don't push yourself too hard. He bites into the burger. He's like, don't push yourself. Don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> Eating a burger is very strenuous work. Please, sir, that's why I need this loan. My brother is in desperate need of treatment, and I don't have the money to pay for it. 
What is a person like you doing at a place like this? A person like me? This is a bank. It's a public space. Yeah, dude, and I've never seen someone as poor as you here before. It's kind of funny, actually. It's none of your business why I'm here, Anthony. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. I was just distracted, you know, because I was here to put some of my money into my account, not beg for it like some kind of stupid loser. Anthony, I'm going to be richer than you before you know it. Just wait and see. Imagine. If I got into a fight with Elon Musk or something, I'm gonna be richer than you before you know it. Yeah, right. Uh, well, I just don't need your services anymore. Don't need my services? And I'll tell you what, Clark, next time this happens, give me a call and I'll bring a pizza with me. What? Huh? This is the guy who sold his phone for $1 because he dropped it. This makes no sense. You didn't even fix his phone, did you? If I did, if I didn't, what does it matter? I'll tell you what, David, just for fun, I'm gonna run your company to the ground. Man, this rich guy, he has so much time. He's stalking this dude. He started his own business on the side. Cause I'm sure that's not what makes him the majority of his money. Just to antagonize this poor homeless guy. <laughs> Well, I guess he's not homeless anymore. You just need to ignore him and keep working super hard. Hey, are you tired of working super hard? Do you need something repaired? <laughs> the most important question, do you hate people named David? <laughs> oh, well, I this has turned into a presidential candidacy here. Like, wow, he's really throwing some shade at him right now. I'll tell you what, David, we're gonna go march down to his store and, and we're gonna confront this jerk. Why are you doing this to just us? It's because I don't believe in you, David. I don't believe in you, David. That's the only reason he's doing this. He has no personal connections to this guy, but he just decided he wants to see him fail. Like, that is some real hatred right there. I don't have any enemies like that. Some people say, that jealousy is a compliment. Why don't they run like their own ad? Like that hasn't occurred to them? Probably gonna have to close. No, 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 we can't close the business. I'm so close to having all the money for Danny's treatment. If we just keep working harder, it, it'll work. I, I'm sorry, David. I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm at a loss. So Danny, how are you feeling? I'm actually feeling a lot better. Well, that's because you had a successful treatment in full. You're gonna be okay now. So Danny, you can finally go home. If you do even have a home. Oh, hell no, man. He just roasted the hell out of them. But also, what in the world was he in for? There was like, they didn't even explain what kind of illness this was. And the, by the way, they're saying treatments. It sounds like they're saying cancer treatment. So I'm just really confused now. Like what the hell was he sick with? So I guess we're starting the business back up, but how, where? You know what? I think I've got the perfect place. Hi, sir. Do you want your phone fixed? No, you poor creep. Get washed. No, you poor creep. How does he know he's poor? He's dressed nicely too. I thought you were having Anthony fix your stuff. Well, I thought he was gonna fix my stuff, but he didn't fix anything actually. So could you do it for me? Yeah, of course. Let me take a look at it right now. I can't believe he made this rookie mistake. I just gotta fix this and boom. Oh, great. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I'm gonna give you $10 off my price because you went to Anthony first. $10 off for going to me instead of our rival. Pretty good. I want the promise to fix my stuff. Listen, you cannot judge me for not knowing how to fix it if you don't even know how to fix it. What? That doesn't make any sense. Well, you're the one that broke it. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to the guys at the mall. At least they can fix it. Well, I don't want you anyway. Do my eyes deceive me? David and his stupid little brother, Danny. Do my eyes deceive me? I love this guy. He's, he's so, uh, so professional and intimidating. Oh, look at these guys trying to steal my business. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony is officially closing down his yeah! tech repair company. Here's an audio clip this reporter caught earlier today. I can't take it anymore. I know everything and you know nothing. <laughs> Anthony is out of the picture. I have a feeling this isn't the last we'll see of Anthony. Thank you everyone so much for coming today. And I know you guys are all here to check this out. This is the mini block cell phone. It's better and faster than most phones on the market. And they can only be sold exclusively at our stores. Look at all of our hard work paying off. It's been five years and we are- Wow, first of all, they didn't even preface that this was a time skip. They could have put some text on the screen that said five years later or something, but also, he looks more homeless than before with the beard and his hair is still a mess. Like, just 
Can someone give me a brush so I can fix it real quick? Doing great. I need help! All right, I better go help the customers. Danny, can you do me a favor? Put this phone in the safe, okay? In the safe? What? Oh, did you see him in the background? In the office, did they say, huh? I'm sick of David always succeeding. It's time always I remind succeeding. him who he really is. This guy has been holding this beef for, what, five years now? Because he sold him his phone for one dollar. What plot is this? See me. Dang, this office isn't secure at all. What do you think you're doing here? Are you looking for this? I, uh, it's none of your business why I'm here. Well, you're not doing any late night shopping. The store's closed, and I just caught you breaking in. You are the poor homeless loser that sold for me to be at where you are today. And I want to make sure that you never forget it. So take this. So they could get him on trespassing, destruction of property, and threats. I think. Also stalking and harassment. So it's like four or five charges. And you were really the person that motivated me to do this. It was you that never gave up. It was teamwork, man. <sighs> Speaking of not giving up. Guys, please. I have a brand new phone too. That was great. Um, I now see why it was their most popular video. Uh, I'm gonna just watch a few snippets of some of their other videos and see kind of what the rest of this channel has to offer before I call it quits. Huh. Ow! Ugh, Max, you're so dumb, I hate you! Why the heck did you throw me out a window? What? We're five seconds into this video, literally five seconds in, and his brother threw him out a window and he's like, oh, why didn't you do that? What? Who hates their sibling that much to throw him out of a window? And whose reaction is just, oh, why'd you do that? Because I have the stupidest brother in the whole world. I didn't want a brother. I can't do anything about that. My family adopted you. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. So this blonde kid is the biological child. The other one is the adopted one. And he's bullying. Okay. Okay. Who broke the window? It was Max. Look, he threw a baseball through it, Dad. What? No, I didn't. Max, how many times must I tell you? Ugh. How many times have they broken the window? I think I understand where this plot's going. So I'm just going to skip a little bit uh, to something that seems interesting. I just wanted to come talk to you. I have a couple questions. I don't have time to answer questions. You know how busy running an orphanage is? Yeah, I remember, but please, I really could use your help. I want to find my real family. Can you tell me anything about them? Find a real family? No way! You have a family now. What's the big deal? I want to know the truth. I want to know why I was abandoned in the first place. Oh, well, you were probably abandoned because your family didn't want you. Duh. Probably didn't love you. Yo! Hey, he didn't have to be so out of pocket. Who speaks like that? What? <laughs> no, that can't be it. I was just a baby. Voice acting is on point. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, enough of the tears. Now get lost, kid. So you're really not gonna help me? I said no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, ow, ow, He's gonna blame ow. him! He's Nick, gonna blame him! What are you doing? What's going on over here? Uh, sir, ow! Man, he just picked up my coffee and threw it at me. What? No, I didn't. <laughs> That's it. You're banned from this coffee shop forever. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You've never been sorry. And I'm sorry that my family had to adopt such a jerk. Hey, it's not my it's idea, okay? Real. I didn't ask to be adopted. Your family chose me. You don't know what I'm going through at all. I've tried to learn what you're going through. But he you has made it to be impossible. fair. It's no wonder no one likes you. What did you just say? No wonder no one likes oh. you. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, that's Get it. Uh. Nick, there you are. Where'd you run off to? Uh, I had to go get this. What? It's my dad's watch. I can't believe it. Max was right. You had it the whole time? No. Look, my friend Glenn stole it, okay? And I blamed Max for it. And I'm really, really sorry. So what else was a lie, huh? Everything else. So you're the one that threw him out the window. Got him in trouble <laughs> for skipping school. Push him off the so, Let's recap. He threw him out a window. Got him kicked out of school, uh, pushed him off the pier, uh, blamed him for stealing his dad's, uh, sent him in a watch. Um, a lot of these sound like uh, crimes. I can understand why you're having a hard time forgiving him. You don't have to worry about me ever again. Wait, Nick, come back, hey. 
<sighs> Nick, please just stop. No, stop following me, okay? I'm Follow not gonna stop following you. Follow uh, the river. Fine, then I'll stop. No one wants anything to do with me. Listen, Nick, that's not true. Follow the river. It's been true ever since I was yes. born. Stop. Calm down, okay? Everything's gonna. Oh! Yeah. Next, next. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, I think I've had enough. Go ahead, click that subscribe button because as soon as we reach a thousand subscribers, I will be going skydiving. And I really want to do it before winter because it's cold as hell out here in Utah. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye!